Alright ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be showing you how to make President John Henry Eden from Fallout 3. So this is a uh, Zax, um, in case you don't know, John Henry Eden is a Zax computer. It's basically a really advanced um, AI from the Fallout series. And he's kind of the main genocidal antagonist of the uh, of Fallout 3. So basically, the um, location I've chosen for this is a uh, ocean monument. Probably because the colorations kind of match uh, the computer's colorations. And also, this is kind of like the oil rig, and it'd, it'd be much easier just to find a structure and build it around. So I figured, hey, ocean monument. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the ocean hub. So normally, ocean hub looks something like this. It, it doesn't have this bottom piece, but you're going to fill this up. But And then you're going to put lights up here. But basically, you're just going to need to find an ocean monument a hub. Now what you're going to do is you're going to need a bunch of paintings, and also certain slabs, glass, and uh, lighting. So let's get into this. Now I am going to break some of this, just to kind of have more of a detailed walkthrough. So you're going to want to have it go in a bit. Now you can make this thicker. I wouldn't recommend it, although because it's like really thick already. Like, this is really thick compared to the actual computer. But basically what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of place these. I want to fill this up just so we can kind of show it off. So, yeah, so this is kind of what you're going to want to go with for your main design. It's going to be really simple, very quick, doesn't take much hassle. Alright, so next... Um, I'm going to make the control panels first, so this is not very hard. You just basically want to make a shape like this. This is kind of what it looks like on the front. Now, it, I wish there was vertical paintings with like uh, electronic things on them, but there isn't. So we're going to use, have to use horizontal. Let's see, so I'm going to want to get a block as well. So, So basically what I do is you, you don't have to really add, de add much detail here. You could just place a block that kind of looks like that. But basically it's going to go something like this. Next what you're going to need to add is the uh, little terminals. Wow, that's lucky. <laughs> now these aren't the main. This isn't the main face. These are just some side terminals. I can't entirely remember what, they, what they're used for. But uh... I think they might be diagnostic type deal. But it's not the main, I guess, face or screen. Holy crap, yeah, this is huge echoes. Ooh. Alright. Ah, oh, I knew that happened. Guess if you want to, you could have some bro. Yeah, there we go. All right. So yeah, they're gonna look something like this. You're also gonna want to put an American flag right above. Unfortunately, the only one's kind of uh, damaged, but I guess it kind of adds the looks of it. Oh, and you will want to add lighting up here. So it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be uh, prismarine lan or sea lanterns. It can be uh, glowstone. But basically, there's just a light that comes from up there. And it's really bright. And that just kind of gets more of the look down. Alright, so now we're going to get into the actual, I guess, display screen. Actually, I don't get why he has a screen there, but, uh... Yes, yeah, so this is where you'll see, um, his voices talk. Or, it, like, whenever he talks, basically, it'll, like, um... There'll be a line in the center that'll vibrate. Kind of deal. So, let's see. Gonna want some glass panes. Now... I recommend using kind of like a, uh, the blue stained glass panes. These just look the best. And you want to do something like this. So basically it'll look like this. Now you don't have to do it exactly like this. You can always have it where like, it's closer in or you don't have anything behind it. But basically, um, for the light source, I would choose either glowstone or, uh, sea lanterns. 
I couldn't really think of another light source that would that wouldn't like look really weird. Although most of these light sources do look weird, and this guy gotta get out. Damn Myerlurks. There we go. All right. So once we're in here, we are going to bust this. So if you're doing this in survival, you know, props to you. But if you are doing this survival, uh, yeah, you don't, you won't want to place these yet. So basically, what you're going to want to do, you don't really have to do this one as well. But basically, you're going to get a lime carpet and do something like this. But basically, this kind of goes, um, creates a straight line in the center. It's a little hard to see, but just to detail that, maybe someone will want to see. If I can get out of here. Yeah, as you can see, I just filled up most of these areas. Alright, so that's pretty much it, I believe. Yep. So, yeah, you can kind of place these randomly down here. You could place stuff here if you wanted to. You can always change it however you want. But that is it. that's how to make uh, John Henry Eden, also known as the uh, Zach's computer at Raven Rock. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like on the video and peace.